Welcome back to the Noon Show. Well, we are heading into the holidays, which can be a difficult time for people living with Alzheimer's disease and also those who are caring for them. And then you factor in the pandemic this year, it is so much to take on. Our senior source partners at the Alzheimer's Alliance of Smith County are here to help though. Stephanie Taylor, the executive director, is joining me this afternoon. So Stephanie, how can the holidays impact someone living with dementia and also their caregiver? Well, you know, like you mentioned, it can be a really difficult, stressful time. Um, and especially with the COVID pandemic, that just makes it, you know, even, even that much more um, stressful for people. Um, and so then when you're dealing with a, an Alzheimer's diagnosis and heightened risk for spreading the virus, and especially in older adults with underlying conditions, it, it can really... Um, be a struggle for caregivers on how to make the holidays really special. And it can also change the person living with dementia and, and make it, um, you know, a little bit more difficult time. So can you share some advice for people who are living with dementia and also the people that are taking care of them to get through the holidays? Yeah, I think it just a, a changing your expectations. You know, this is going to be different season for for anyone um, and, and dealing with such a difficult illness on top of it. So adjust your expectations, modify some of your traditions, create safe spaces, um, simplify your decorations, um, adapt holiday activities, prepare together, plan meaningful things for that person, um, play their favorite holiday music, just really try to simplify and it's gonna make things so much better for um, the person living with dementia and also the caregiver, help them reduce stress. And, and one of the biggest things is take time for yourself if you're a caregiver. Make sure that you have time um, to do the things you love to do during the holiday season as well. What's the best way to do that? Um, because there probably is a lot of guilt involved in asking for help. Sure. So the Alliance offers an in-home respite program. So if you're caring for someone living with Alzheimer's or related dementia at home, we can actually um, provide a scholarship and um, have someone, a trained caregiver, come into the home so you can go out and get holiday shopping done or maybe, you know, eat with your friend at your favorite restaurant. Um, those are things that you should do for yourself and take time for yourself. So we have programs like that available. Are there any other programs that this time of year would be especially beneficial for people with dementia and their caregivers? Absolutely. So a lot of times we'll see people um, who are living with dementia may wander, have a tendency to wander, especially if they've been isolated in their home due to COVID precautions. And so we have a program called Project Lifesaver. Um, it's a location bracelet and a partnership with the sheriff's office. So if you hear your loved ones start saying things like, I want to go home, but they're at home, um, you really need to give us a call and learn more about that program. And then we have a counselor here in the office and a social worker who um, can do telephone consults with you. If you're just feeling really anxious or depressed, please give us a call because we do have support services that can help. Well, Stephanie, I appreciate all that you do for our community, and we'll also put the number up on the screen for the Alzheimer's Alliance of Smith County's website so that people can find out all the resources that you offer here in East Texas. Thanks so much for being with us for the Noon Show. Thank you.